Good afternoon, everyone. We are the students of ABU, and today we would like to share briefly about the diversities of humans and cultures in ABU. We will start first with an introduction, and then we talk about multicultural weeks, and finally our own perspectives of experience the diversities in ABU. First of all, I would like to introduce you to our five wonderful TAs. We have Aegi from Fiji, Franz from Burundi, Nessa from Kenya, Stavi from Indonesia, and me, Ame from Vietnam. Before starting the journey to explore the universities of AU with us, let's first have a look at the videos that we have prepared for you. Catch a ride to the top of the world, this is where we start. No, we can't make it last forever. We gotta use all the time we have. And you know that we'll never say never if we ever get the chance. And it's good to be alive. So good to be alive. This feeling's running high. With our three core values, freedoms, peace, and humanities, ABU aims to create not only a place to learn and improve skills regarding business and our academic research, ABU is also a place where every student is encouraged to embrace the differences and respect others by gaining an international mutual understanding, intercultural coexistence, and a global knowledge to become a global citizens. This is why our school slogan is shape your world, which means in ABU, you can be yourself and shape your life as you want it to be. When you visit ABU, 
I am sure you would not be disappointed by how diverse and global our school is compared to other universities in Japan. You will have a chance to study with students coming from 152 countries and regions around the world, and have a chance to upgrade your language skills, not only English, but also six other languages such as Spanish, Korean, Chinese, or Thai. Not only focusing on the diversities of the students, you can also meet up with our dear professors with different nationalities as well. They are educational experts from 22 countries, many of whom have real-world experiences and have their own ways to bring a new dimension of learning to the classroom. One of the many highlights of the APU event calendar is Multicultural Weeks. We have over 10 weeks in APU. During each week, the language, customs, and lifestyle of one of the many countries and regions represented on campus are introduced through a range of colorful events arranged by APU students. Held every year in the spring and fall, a delicious array of traditional dishes is available on the cafeteria menu in addition to traditional dance and music performances held throughout the campus and the grand show held on the final day of each week. I have been lucky enough to join Oceania Week and Sri Lankan Week in my three years at APU. My favorite week was Sri Lankan Week because I got to experience the culture, food, dance, and also make new friends. So in Multicultural Week, there are also many mini events being held that can be participated by students in order to learn more about the culture of the country. So for example, they can join the traditional dances workshop. Look how happy they are learning new dance every week. And also you can learn how to make the traditional dishes of the country. For example, in this picture, they are learning how to do the traditional dishes of Thailand. And the good thing in this one is you can get the free food after you cook, after you finish the class. And other than that, you can also try the traditional clothes of the country. In this photo, they are trying the Indonesian traditional clothes. Do you guys want to try uh, traditional clothes other than Japanese traditional clothes? And other than that, sometimes mini competition are being held also. For example, singing competition or dances competition or even poem reading competition in the country's language. So for example, in this picture, they were doing the uh, singing competition in Chinese because it was Chinese week. And so many people are joining because it was really fun experience to do. And the best thing in this multicultural week for me is the ethnic food. So every country's week, they could sell the traditional food of their country in cafeteria for a week. And I can assure you, it is really delicious. And who knows that it could be your only chance trying their traditional food. But wait, not only that you can get knowledge from the country's culture, you can make a new friend from this event because in multicultural week, the best thing is the process, the behind the scenes of the big event. Because here, you can make a new friend from total stranger from different nationalities that can eventually become your friend or even close friend because you will spend so much time together training the dances or even organizing the event. So you will actually diverse your circle of friends from only one nationality to many nationalities. And the good thing, because they are from different nationality of yours, you cannot use your own language. You need to use the international language, which is English. That's why your English will improve. So this is maybe your only opportunity that you can make a new friend and also improve your English language. So what are you waiting for again? Take the opportunity yourself. Diversity is about bringing together everyone's differences. Each one of us is unique because of the characteristic we are born with or the experience we had and decision that we have made. There are many benefits of diversity, but among many, one is the creativity. With the support of your friend, you are able to carry on various projects together and form one strong force for change in your community. The second benefit is to bring together different perspectives. You are able to receive many ideas from your friend, 
with different viewpoints, which can help you to have a better idea. The third one is easy problem solving. Your problem becomes everyone's problem at the end. When you have a problem, your friends can help you think of a good solution instead of finding it alone. Mutual respect. In a diverse community, you are able to respect each other, despite their race or their country and culture. Therefore, you can express your opinion without any fear. Multicultural and multilanguage is another benefit of diversity. With diversity, you are able to learn and understand various cultures and languages from all over the world, like Africa, America, and so on. Having friends from different parts of the world helps you experience new foreign cultures. For example, in the first picture, my Ethiopian friend took me to an Ethiopian restaurant while we're visiting Tokyo. I got to try out different meals from Ethiopia and also their coffee. In the second picture, the Oceania community invited the African community for a dinner party where they cooked for us different meals from their countries and taught us different songs and dances. That was an amazing experience. My new friends also became my travel buddies, not only in Japan, but three of them invited us back to their countries to experience it as locals. So we we're fortunate enough to go to Taiwan, Indonesia and Hong Kong. I cannot wait for them to finally come to Kenya and also experience my culture. Lastly, being surrounded by people from different races, religions and cultures has helped me be more creative because of the different points of view. In the first picture, we were at a local exchange program where we had to learn about each other's countries and find a creative way to present it to the students. In the second picture, Franz and I participated in the Seed Accelerator program where we had to come up with a business plan. In our business plan, we were able to blend in ideas from Kenya and Burundi. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. We need you in APU. So join us and let's shape our world together.